terrifying edition of the reality of wrestling. Matt Topolsky alongside Brad Gilmore for the row here on Fight TV, Facebook, and across the globe. And Brad, very exciting news. Yes. Right here tonight for the first time in reality of wrestling history, Brendan Steen and Connor Holman, two graduates of the Reality of Wrestling School, will be in our main event well, as okay. the feud continues. Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. But you know how the show's going to start? The show's going to start with the champion of all television. J.J. Blake's going to start the show. Let's go Let's go to J.J. Blake right now. J.J. Blake, Matt Topolsky, J.J. Blake. Making his way to the ring, fighting out of Virginia Beach, Virginia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Jay. Blake. Well, since he can never get it right, allow me to take it away from Virginia Beach, Virginia. He weighs in tonight at 230 pounds. He is a champion of all television, the Dynamite Adonis, Jay, Jay Blake. Well, that, that television must have rabbit ears on it, Brad Gilmore, because I don't see a championship around the waist of the champion of all television. Self-proclaimed champion of all Hold television. Hold on, we're, we're going to hear from him. Why don't, why don't you just know your role, Matt Tupolsky? We're going to hear Sorry, from the Adonis. Beating down whoever's about to come out this curtain. I am still robbed of the championship of the televisions. As you stupid, idiotic people already know. I'm the Dynamite Adonis. I'm Dino Might. I am the champion of every single television in the world. Televisions in China. Television's in Japan. All oh, television in Israel. The champion of all television in Pennsylvania. Oh, wait just a second. Brad Gilmore hates back. The Green Machine has returned. Green Machine. Well, we thought he was going to be out for months with a broken leg. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of Jersey City, New Jersey, weighing 255 pounds. This is the Green Machine, Mike Orlando. But Mike Orlando has defied the odds, Brad Gilmore. We thought it may be a year before we see the Green Machine again. His leg was broken several months ago by the fair, ruthless Ryan Davidson. And J.J. Blake looks as shocked as we are. Well, J.J. Blake, uh, you know, he is the Dynamite Adonis, but this is a major challenge. Green Machine was tearing through the competition here at Reality of Wrestling before that untimely oh, injury from Rufus Ryan Davidson. Green Machine with a bit of a different look here, Matt Topolsky. You gotta think that time off sometimes can be a wrestler's worst enemy, as Booker T always says. Well, that and the fact that he has a surgically repaired leg, which was broken roughly six months ago. And he is back in action. And this is a huge surprise, and what a start to the reality of wrestling this week. With Green Machine, Mike Orlando back in action. Dynamite Adonis J.J. Blake said he didn't care who came out of the curtain. <laughs> I even got to admit, you saw the eyes uh, of the Adonis. You saw the eyes of J.J. Blake. He was definitely surprised as we all were. We did not know Green Machine was going to be in action tonight in a big shoulder block. Well, you've got to imagine somewhere behind that curtain is Ruthless Ryan Davidson looking on at one of those monitors right now that J.J. Blake claims he's oh. the champion of. And seeing Mike Orlando back in a reality of wrestling ring, I wonder what Ryan Davidson's reaction is to all this. Ryan Davidson might be looking over his shoulder in the locker rooms later on this evening. Oh. But you know what, Matt Spolsky, you gotta be, we gotta be honest here. We know there's a lot of momentum, there's probably a lot of energy, there's butterflies in the stomach of Mike Orlando, but he came back against a very, very competitive contender in J.J. Blake. Talking about a former reality of wrestling television champion, two-time television champion, a fight dynamite oh. champion of all television. Takes that, that black hammer right there to the face, Brad. It could be over. 
Eric Orlando, reversal here. Boom. Well, that leg looks like it's at 100% right now. Scoop slam, perfectly executed. Green Boom. machine, splash middle of the ring cover here, hooks the leg. Kick out at one and a half from J.J. Blake, who joined us here on commentary a few weeks ago. Of course, you once again proved during that period of time that you are the president of the J.J. Blake fan club. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The Adonis landed right on his knee, coming to the outside. Get him a towel, Brad, get him a towel. I don't have to get Give me your shirt, Help give me your shirt. Blake obviously in a bit of trouble and a bit of pain as he gets up to a vertical base. What's going on here? Wait, what's going through the Mike head? Mike Orlando, Mike Orlando, not exactly built to oh. fly here. Oh, JJ Blake catching him with a European uppercut. Oh, and a suplex to the outside on the green machine as he grimaces in pain. out here, but he looks to be in a very serious mood this evening. Well, I have to agree with you. Um, and, and, and honestly, he doesn't really care whether he wins this matchup by pinfall or count out. Referee up to a count of five. What, what a way to make your re-debut. Coming back from injury and get counted out. Referee up to a count of seven, Matt. Green Machine gets in, but J.J. Blake, like a shark, smelling blood in the water, goes right after Mike Orlando. Well, that's just the thing, you know, you talk about time off being an athlete's worst enemy, J.J. Blake, for all the things that can be said about him. He's out here week in and week out competing. It's been half a year since Mike Orlando has been competitive. Two. This could be it. And a kick out at two. to his knees right there. I wonder if his leg was able to support all of his weight to go up for that high kick. Look, you can see, he's not running at 100% right there. Oh, and a back body drop. Mike Orlando almost landing on his head there. And J.J. Blake now with his rear chin lock trying to put an end to the return of the Green Machine. And he might choke him out right here. The referee getting a close look. Getting a close look, Willie Tap. Mike Orlando trying to get a second win here, Matt Topolsky. But that's the thing here about reality wrestling at any time, at any moment. The match could end out of nowhere. Well, Mike Orlando has proven time and time again his resilience, his heart certainly. Be back in the ring as quickly as he returned from injury here. Reversal from the green machine. Series of shots, center of the ring again as he continues to try and fight off the former television champion. Another shot there from Green Machine. Oh, and another kick to the back of the head. And those shots have got to be taking their toll on J.J. Blake. Hold on, he's got him up. Oh, Samoan drop. Center of the ring. That could be all. Cover here, Mike Orlando trying to get a big W in his return. Kick out at two and a half. Mike Orlando came in with a bunch of momentum. But J.J. Blake, a valiant competitor. Say what you will, Matt Topolsky. But J.J. Blake is a fighter. Mike Orlando still trying to make a statement, now going up to the second rope. And J.J. Blake played a little bit of possum. Mike Orlando shoved him off at a big knee. Knee right there to the chin. J.J. Blake looking for a dead belly driver, sits out. This could be it. J.J. Blake, huge victory oh, to start the action here tonight. A kick out from Mike Orlando, muscle memory, if you will. Nevertheless, gets that shoulder up. And now JJ called for that black hammer. If he hits it, it could be over. Wait a minute, Mike Orlando ducks it. Big spear. Big spear. Big spear. Big spear. Big cover. Mike Orlando gets the dub. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this match, the Green Machine, Mike Orlando. of the Bear, Ruthless Ryan Davidson, and tonight he defeats a former reality of wrestling television champion and makes his presence felt here at the World Gym Arena. 
Incredible, incredible return. And out of nowhere, hit that big spear, and it was lights out, Matt. What could the future hold for the Green Machine? And is he looking to get retribution on the bear from Bel Air, Ryan Davidson? I guess the weeks will tell us, Matt. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ashley Bull, backstage here with the bear, Ruthless Ryan Davidson. Now, with Christmas chaos right around the corner, what does 2019 hold for Ryan Davidson? What does it hold? What is it? I mean, are you talking about something that's actually put on a pedestal? I mean, what are we, what are we talking about here? Let me tell you exactly how this is going to go down. I've wrestled all around the world, and I'm going to continue to do so. Hell, I've been to Japan. Maybe I'm going to go to Germany. Maybe I'm going to go to England. Maybe I'll go to India. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. But really, those places aren't really what I'm caring about right now. There's only one place, one piece of land that matters more to me than anything. And that's Texas. Texas, 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 the greatest state in this country. And yet, not the greatest stars have held the championship that represents that. I mean, yeah, you have Rex Andrews that paved the way. But he's from Alabama. No one cares about Alabama. And then Mysterious Q, current Texas champion. I've beat him more times than that kid could possibly count. And now we're here. Ryan Davidson back from his grand tour of Japan. What do the cards hold for the bear? One thing. One thing only. The bear runs Texas, and my eyes are on the mysterious Q. So Q, when the opportunity comes, you better answer the call or get mauled. 72, 73, 74, 75. Ah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Woo! Mm. That's what I'm talking about, Tip. Are you ready for the night? Brother, am I ready? Am I ready? Hey. You coming out with me, how can I be ready? But I only got one question for you, man. They say, um, I heard from a little birdie that Vegas is your best friend, man. What's up with that? Used to be, bro. Used to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't worry about that, dog. He, ever since he joined La Familia, homie haven't even been the same. But tonight, you ain't got nothing to worry about. It's Vega who got something to worry about, yeah, all right? Yeah. And you said Familia, right? Yeah. That's who he runs with. Now, yeah. they do business. You know what else that means? They don't run by themselves. They always got the family around, so that's why I got you around. But if he used to be your best friend, who's your new best friend? Wait, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Tempo. Tempo. Hey. hey. <laughs> you good, baby? Let's get hey, it done. You ready? Let's you ready? ready? I'm, I'm ready, ready baby. Boy, let's get this. Strap. What? Let's Woo! go. An organization that may be a bit in crisis right now. It's been some time since we've seen Aiden Cristiano and perhaps Jonathan Vega and Diego De La Cruz looking to take more of a leadership role here in La Familia. And introducing his opponent.
remind everyone at home, this is not a tag team matchup. This is a one. And wait a second here. This is a one-on-one -on -one matchup, actually. It, it looks like a tag match. We got a, a tag team here at ringside. We got tag teams right up here in the squared circle. And nevertheless, it's just Terrell Tempo and Jonathan Vega. But things look like they could heat up at any moment. Uh, uh, absolutely, Matt Polsky. But we can out bury the lead. We got to ask Kendrick Barczyk, how does it feel to be man bunless? It feels great. It's like it's like upgrading, like the Saints getting Des Bryant. You just upgrade, even if you're the best team in the NFC, you know? <laughs> it didn't work out too well for Des Bryant. Well, you know it's gonna work out better for the cool. Oh! But here we go. Leapfrog over the top here from Jonathan Vega, one half of La Familia. Of course, Terrell Tempo, oh. a former reality of wrestling TV champion. Looking to get back in the hunt for gold. Scoop slam right there. Oh, wow! Ah. Great vertical lead by Terrell Tempo on a cover. Here. One, two. And a kick out. Well, I gotta ask the Cole, what brings you gentlemen out here tonight? We're scouting the best competition in reality of wrestling. The tag team division's hot right now, but the cool is gonna cool it down. That's why we're out here. See what they got. Absolutely, absolutely. There you go. Y'all are former tag team champions. Yep. What why are y'all back together? I mean, y'all y'all been apart for a year or more now. Why are you back together? Yeah, because I figured after all this time, there wasn't one star on the cool. We're both stars, right? And we're not going after the tag team champions. All in, not only the tag team championships, but we're going to try to take over all reality wrestling. Now. Okay, well, there you go. First Singles, there, tags, there whatever it takes. Let us hope oh. and look at Terrell Tempo. Incredible athleticism. Wow. From one of the hottest stars in the reality of wrestling. You, you've seen that before, haven't I've you? I've seen that. I'm close to personal. <laughs> Y'all are definitely familiar with all these men involved in this match. If you had to say, though, what, what team do you think would give you all the bigger challenge, La Familia or Terrell Tempo and Brian Keith? Honestly, it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter who you put us in the ring with. We've shown in the past that we've beaten anybody that you put us in the ring with. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. What a European uppercut right here in front of us at Terrell Tempo Where taking a good look at you two gentlemen. Wow, That's okay. We, we are. We're familiar with Tempo. I'm the one to help get Tempo here. Oh. oh. Here we go. Oh, and Diego oh, La Cruz trying to make his presence felt at the post. He paid for it. Absolutely. He's flexing oh. everyone. We're we're flexing flexing Vega. Vega. Oh. Suicide dive through the ropes. To the outside. Jonathan Vega oh, met out here with a point to prove as all these men seem to be. Yes, I. Well, as I said before this matchup started, you know, it's been some time since we've seen Aiden Cristiano Vega we go trying to take more of a leadership role here in La Familia. He does more of that. He may be the new leader. Oh. Jonathan Vega and Diego De La Cruz still searching for that ever-elusive first championship here in Reality Wrestling. So La Familia always had the numbers game, man. They've always got the numbers game. They got someone lurking everywhere. You never know when they're going to strike. Oh, I think that's the reason why the bounty hunter Brian Keith is out here tonight, trying to even those odds in favor of Terrell Tempo. No! Oh, oh, wow! Another European that. uppercut. Terrell Tempo has one gear. Oh, wow! Well, I got to get the cool's interpretation of the new tag team champion. Oh, oh, is that though? What a hard and karate from Jonathan Vega! Oh, wow! Oh, wow. Here, cover! Puts the leg, La Familia! Oh, my! Two and a half. <laughs> what I was gonna ask is, wow. what, is, what 
here's the cool thing of the new Reality Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the industry, Mick Drake and Devin Devine. Not much. Uh, not much. Okay, well, there you go. They are the well, champions. Well, it looks like the cool is definitely back on the same page. They definitely are. Finishing each other's oh. Oh. There we go. Well, this has been a high-intensity affair between these two. I mean, my goodness. Tempo springs up. I mean, this is incredible stuff. He is an absolute... Here we Beast go. Of the ring. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. And the end of De La Cruz jumps wait a minute, in there. Wait a Here comes the bounty hunter, Brian Keith. We, got, we can't let this go down like this. Wait, oh, a, minute. wait a minute. And Kendrick Bartek. Kendrick Bartek and Cameron Cole go to the ring. All hell's breaking loose out of here. The referee doesn't know what to do. That's the cool. The cool is in there. Laying it, laying it down to Brian, Wait, Brian Keith and Cameron Cole getting into it, Matt Tobolsky. We got Love Familia battling, we got Tempo and Brian Keith battling, we got the former tag team champs, the Cole. Wait, oh, hold on. Here comes Zach and Warren. Zach and Warren. Half the locker room's in there beating the living hell out of each other. We got four prominent tag teams in our division. And oh, what's going on here? Wow. For over 13 years, the King of Solar Screens has been an industry leader, and we proudly use 100% American-made products. Home of the $55 Any Size, Any Color Solar Screen. Well, what about arches? $55. What about circles? $55. What about rectangles? $55, $55, $55. Any size, any color, install free. The King of Solar Screens, on time, every time. Now, can you dig that, sucker? Row Nation, I'm Ashley Bull, backstage here with the Diamonds Division Champion, AQA. Now, next week, you have your first title defense against Indy Hartwell. How confident are you heading into that match? Man, Ashley, I am so ready. I'm so ready for this. And as for my confidence level, it is through the roof, through the roof, up there. You want to know why? Because I beat Kylie Ray and Hai Young, two of the top female talent for this very Diamonds Division Championship. And as for Indy Hartwell, well, I couldn't have dreamt of a better opponent. I mean, she's an international superstar. She's been all the way around the world, and now she's here at the row. And that's only going to make it that much better when I beat her and successfully retain my Diamonds Division Championship. You see, this match is going to put me on the map. This match is going to let everyone know that I am serious about leading this Diamonds Division. That I was playing no games when I said that I was ready to step up to this level. You see, Ashley, there's a reason why I've been dubbed the breakout superstar of the row. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm here to stay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nancy Perez and I'm here backstage with Brendan Steen. Brendan, how do you feel about being in their very first main event tonight against Connor Holloman? Nancy, I feel like I'm destined for this spot, for this opportunity in the main event. It's no surprise that I'm already here quickly after my debut. What is a surprise that it's against that scrub Connor Holloman? I've already beaten him. What else do I gotta do to prove that I'm better? There's only one thing I can think of, and that's by going out there tonight and just showing you what I'm truly capable of. Tonight's episode of The Row is brought to you by Walker, Texas Lawyer at walkertexaslawyer.com. Hilton Furniture, let them have it. Quality Blinds, go to qualityblindsllc.com for free shipping anywhere in the USA.
and the king of solar screens, home of the $50 any size solar screen. Welcome back to The Row right here on Fight TV. And Brad, up next in our main event, Connor Holman and Brendan Steen continue their feud, two graduates of the Reality of Wrestling School. And some believe a little professional jealousy on the part of Brendan Steen as Connor Holman made a name for himself first here in the Reality of Wrestling. Things heating up between these two, and the feud continues next. Absolutely. And we've seen these two trade wins. We see we see uh, Brendan Steen get a win. We see Connor Holman get a win. Then they go to a time limit draw. This could be the deciding match here tonight in our main event. Well, it's up next. It's Brendan Steen and Connor Holman. We take it up to the ring. Now making his way to the ring. Out of Jersey City, New Jersey, weighing in 223 pounds, this is Brendan Steen. That's bulky Brendan Steen. We saw he and Connor Holliman go crazy on one another in that last match, going into a time limit draw. Well, this is now the, correct me if I'm wrong, Brad, I believe the fourth encounter between Absolutely. these two. And Brendan Steen and Connor Holman have been beating the hell out of each other. From pillar to post here at the World Gym Arena. And now, for the first time in row history. And introducing his opponent. Two graduates of the Reality of Wrestling School are in our main event. here tonight in the main event. And of course, one of the big questions here is, as both of these two were former trainees of the Reality of Wrestling School, now graduates of that school, but it was Connor Holman who first made a name for himself here in the Reality of Wrestling. Some have argued that Brendan Steen's issue, if you will, with Connor Holman may be chalked up to some professional jealousy, Brad Gilmore. Well, you know, absolutely. Connor Holman made his debut before Brendan Steen. Connor Holman actually had a shot at the Reality of Wrestling Championship against Aiden Cristiano way before we ever saw Brendan Steen. Of course, there's going to be a little bit of jealousy there, and Brendan Steen just wants people to know he is the top student here at the World Gym Arena. And we've also heard from several people within the Reality of Wrestling that these two have actually they've changed their training days so they won't even see each other at the building on the same day. That's how ugly this has become between Connor and Brendan Steen. Much, much like Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, it's on site, Matt Topolsky. Wherever they see each other, they're going to start going after each other. Oh, oh, wow, swing and a miss there. You got to think, for this to be their fourth encounter, they have to be aware of each other's tendencies. They, they have to be able to call each other's bluffs, if you will. Well, I think we're going to see a lot of what we just saw right there. Nice reversal from Brendan Steen after reversal from Connor Holloman, because yes, I mean, it's been several months now. Oh, Every time. single month, Connor Holloman and Brendan Steen are testing each other in the center of that ring. Kick out at one. You have to think that both these men want a definitive ending for this match tonight. Oh. They beat the hell out of each other, and then it went to a time limit draw. They say a tie is a lot like kissing your sister, TP. Oh! 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 Wow, chopped him all the way down. Like Paul Bunyan and a tall Redwood. Well, we have seen what this feud has done for both these athletes, more specifically Connor Holloman, who has always been a nice guy, always had a smile on his face. Even when he was inside that squared circle kicking butt. But I gotta tell you something, Brad. We're seeing a mean streak here now from Connor Holman. A whole new level, and it's been Brendan Steen who's brought it out of him. Absolutely, and sometimes you know it's the Batman versus the Joker oh! type thing. And that shot right there to the temple almost put Brendan Wait a Steen's lights Wait a out here. Connor Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh! oh, Connor Holman with his shin right to the ring post. Shin and knee first. Referee, you need to check that. We need to make sure that he can continue to compete. Ray 
Brandon Steen got out of Dodge just in time. But that speaks to that mean streak that you were talking about from Connor. Connor. Oh, absolutely. Oh. oh. And now a chop block from behind from Brandon Steen going to work on that knee. But absolutely, we wouldn't have seen that from Connor Holloman just a few months ago. Absolutely not, Matt. I mean, Brandon Boston. Steen is bringing this out in it. Steen now on top here, hooks the leg. Two, and a kick out. Sometimes your greatest adversary brings out the things that you did not even know existed in deep inside of you. It brings out your worst traits at times. And I believe that's what we're seeing with Connor Holland. And you know, we've talked about the opportunities that Connor Holman has had already in his young career. But let's talk about Brendan Steen for just a minute. This is his first main event opportunity here at the Reality of Wrestling. The spotlight never brighter than it is on his career right now. You know he wants to make a statement here. Absolutely, and a statement he is making so far, being the aggressor in this match, pushing the action. If we were going to the judges' scoring cards, I'd have him 10-9 in this round. Oh. We have seen a chaotic night of action so far. The return of the Green Machine, Mike Orlando. We saw a four tag team melee out here. And now a main event between two athletes who are pushing each other's limit every single month. Round number four between Connor Holman and Brendan Steen. And Brendan Steen now trying to take that knee apart. A wound that was self-inflicted just minutes ago when Connor Holman launched himself knee and shin first into that post. And now a European uppercut from the aggressor, Brendan Steen. Brendan Steen trying to work on that leg, that injured leg, but wow, Connor Holman sending Brendan Steen right into that second turnbuckle. Oh! Another shot to the head, this time to the back of the head on Brendan Steen. But how much damage did that do to that leg of Connor Holloman? You can see him still grabbing it, wincing in pain. And Connor Holloman, we know he likes to, wait, hold on here, hold on here. Oh! That will dislocate an arm for certain. Hooks the leg, Brendan Steen. Kick out at two and a half. You know, what I was gonna say here is we know Connor likes to finish those matches with that standing moonsault. If he can't even support his own weight, there's no way he can do a standing backflip. But well, Brandon Steen right now is trying to turn Connor Holman into a human pretzel. And he may get his wish. Rodation chanting for Connor Holman, but I don't know if there's going to be any amount of chanting that's going to be able to heal that leg within the given time limit of this match. Oh, look at that. Oh! Look at that. This is, this is getting bad, Matt. Well, this is a personal affair between these two. Oh, I don't think anybody doubted that coming into it, but another attrition battle right now. Connor Holloman, oh. oh, he spikes Brendan Steen in the middle of the ring. Whatever offense he can inflict on his opponent right now, he'll do it, but Connor cannot capitalize with a pin attempt. No, he can't. He's trying to get all the way over there, and I think that he will finally, what was he going for here? He's trying to move away from the ropes. Smart ring awareness there by Connor Holloman, but Connor's still not able to support his own weight. Well, Connor can barely stand, and now he's, what is he trying to go to the top rope here? Now he's trying to psych himself up. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. Connor somehow slowly makes it to that second rope, trying to get all the way to the top. Oh! Brendan Steen tripping Connor Holloman up on that top rope, and now, Adding insult to injury. Well, just those clubbing blows once again from Brendan Steen. Knocking all the he wind is, out. He is a technician, but he is also a brawler. I mean, a throwback to the old school right oh, here. Oh, my, my goodness. goodness. A super side suplex from the top. If Brendan Steen can get a cover, that's got to be all. Connor Oldman hasn't moved. Here cover we go. Here. One, two, it's academic. No. Kick out from Holloman. Brendan Steen cannot even believe it, getting in the face of Isaac Bullion. Well, the frustration definitely starting to set in here for Brendan Steen. That half crab, that half Boston crab, Matt. Single leg crab. Can't Connor Holman get to that bottom rope? 
It's only a few inches away, but it might as well be 10 miles from here. Holloman wills himself to that bottom rope, but the damage continues to be done to that knee. Well, at some point, Isaac Bullion is going to need to make a judgment call. That's his job as a referee. He needs oh, wait, a stunner. A stunner out of nowhere. Like Brandon Steen was going for that patented Russian leg sweep. A stunner reversal here from Connor Holloman. No pun intended, but it stuns his opponent just long enough to oh. take advantage right back to that knee again. Right back to that injured leg of Connor Holloman. That's what I was going to say. The referee might need to make a judgment call if he needs to stop this match. Well, no one's going to question the fight. Oh. No one's going to question the fight in Connor Holloman as he temporarily disposes of Brendan Steen there, but he looks like a wounded dog in there right now. He definitely does. Looks like a wounded dog who's hobbling around on a peg leg, but somehow... Holloman, look at this. What is he doing oh, here? Oh, and a senton. A cannonball, if you will, off of the ring apron. Both of these two competitors are well aware of what this main event opportunity means for both of their careers. Connor Holloman, oh, what a comeback that would have been, but a kick out from Brendan Steen. I don't know how Connor is able to get any offense in here at this point, Brad. No, I, it, it seems just to be a slow, methodical picking apart of oh, Connor Holloman. And great, great comeback right there, but how much damage does that do to the leg? In the tip here, if he can roll him over, lateral press hooks the leg, two. Oh, it looks like, it looks and like Brendan Steen grabbed that bottom rope. Absolutely. Great ring awareness. You know, for as much damage as Brendan Steen has done to Connor Holman's knee, Connor Holman has done nearly as much damage to Brendan Steen's head. Look at that shit oh. Drops it right on that shin. That's the same shin that met the ring post. I gotta tell you, Brad, the official may need to make a judgment call here if this continues. Oh, wait a, wait minute. a minute. Wait, wait a, a minute, minute here. Wait a minute. Oh! Oh my goodness. Referee yelling at Brendan oh, Steen. Does it Come on! He does it again, and I think the referee's warning Brendan Steen. And now oh, he he's pulled exposing down that, that knee pad. Oh, oh, he just shoved the referee. Well, you can't put your hands on an official, and that's gonna be a disqualification.